the soft drinks and food, but no strong drink at the brink. Cheers. It's Liverpool's first adult dry bar. And with the city at the top of the league for alcohol-related hospital admissions, the charity running it say there's a real need. There are 36 AA meetings within Liverpool each week, uh, so we know that there is a large amount of people out there who are desperate for somewhere to go, really. It's in an area full of pubs and bars, and some revellers did ask for alcohol on its first weekend open. We were very polite with them and said, you know, we'd love to see it again on a night that you're not drinking. You're most welcome to come here. They, they, they took it like that as such, and there was no animosity, it was, it was all great, it was good. The Brink also offers jobs for recovering addicts, three quarters of the staff in fact. Gillian Thompson's been off alcohol for two years. Instead of hiding what you're on and being ashamed of it, it's, it's amazing that this is all open and out there and um, everyone accepts it. They got a top bar designer in to do the decoration. Two reasons for that. Firstly, they didn't want the recovering people to be shoved away in a grotty church hall. And secondly, they need enough ordinary people, ordinary customers to come in to make money to keep the bar going. Dry bars aren't new. Fitzpatrick's in Rottenstall is the last surviving temperance bar opened in 1890. But the brink is different. Back rooms for addiction counselling and any profits will go to a drink and drugs charity. Andy Gill, BBC Northwest Tonight, Liverpool.